The Navy Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstration Program is taking naval aviation where it has never been before, to the deck of a U.S. aircraft carrier on the wings of a tailless unmanned aircraft. Since 2007, Northrop Grumman, NAVAIR, and the UCAS-D joint industry team have been moving steadily toward that goal. Starting with a clean sheet concept, the team has designed and built two tailless, low-observable relevant X-47B aircraft. We will use these aircraft to demonstrate two firsts for unmanned jet-powered aviation. Autonomous carrier operations, including launch, recovery, and deck handling, and, under a related contract, autonomous aerial refueling, using both the Air Force boom receptacle and Navy probe and drogue methods. The UCAS-D team includes Naval Air Systems Command, Northrop Grumman, and 13 major suppliers, all of them committed to making the program successful. The first X-47B rolled out of its assembly hangar for the first time in fall 2009, ready to begin the next step of its journey. First came engine checkout in November. Then a significant step forward in January 2010 with its first low-speed taxi. With confidence building, the team moved ahead in May to medium-speed taxi. In parallel, the team worked to ensure that software development was supporting aircraft maturity. And then it was time to move to Edwards Air Force Base in June to take the next step toward system maturity. Momentum toward first flight continued to build in 2010, driven by the team's growing confidence that the X-47B is a system whose time has come. While one team prepared for first flight at Edwards, a second team at Palmdale gave wings and a future to the next X-47B in line. As the year drew to a close, the team's commitment to making progress never wavered. In early January 2011, Testing resumed at Edwards with a renewed sense of purpose. The team worked carefully through its test plan, ensuring that every aircraft taxi, takeoff, and landing scenario was defined and well understood. By early February, the aircraft and the test team were finally ready. At first, the UCAS-D team held its breath, and then, with the click of a mouse, the X-47B rolled down the runway and lifted off. Slowly at first, each member allowed the exhilaration that comes with first flight to take hold, giving flight and reality to the next major chapter of naval aviation. For 29 minutes, the X-47B soared over Rogers Dry Lake, exactly as planned. After a flawless first flight, the aircraft returned home and made a picture-perfect landing. And the UCAS-D teams, east and west, embraced the joy of a job well done. Really big day today, uh, an incredible event, emotional. But the confidence of that moment when the airplane rotated, we knew we had it. The moment that I will remember for the rest of my life was when it was on short final and I looked out there at the, uh, the silhouette of the vehicle and I said, that is going to the, the boat and that's what it's gonna look like on, on approach to the, uh, the carrier. The men and women down at Rancho Bernardo, El Segundo, Palmdale, we watched an aviation first for them. In spirit, they were here. And I'm really proud to be part of a culture that really has a we-can-do attitude. With first flight in the record books, the UCAS-D team now turns with confidence to building a record of credibility, durability, and reliability for the X-47B. 
The road to the carrier still lies ahead, and the journey is far from over. But the team now knows with confidence that it has the aircraft, the unmanned systems technology, and the engineering skill to operate the X-47B in the harshest of aviation environments. Team UCAS is now airborne and headed to the carrier.